Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix packet loss in your Valorant game in 2022. And I will be sharing five or seven effective very solution that you need to apply one by one. And I'm very sure that this will be improving your packet loss, reduce it, and even it will improve the ping. Now, but before proceeding, I would like to clarify that please check your internet connection because if your internet connection is poor, it's not stable, then nothing is going to work for you. So make sure, I just want to be very honest with you guys because many people give you the troubleshooting steps and after applying that, even you do not find any changes that just because your internet connection is not good. All right, so make sure that you have the good speed and the low ping. And after that, let's move with the solutions. So first of all, minimize your Valorant game and close it from the task manager. Right click on your windows icon, choose task manager. From the top in menu option, click on details and look for Valorant or Riot. Right click on it and choose and process tree. Once closed, minimize it. Now in the first step, we have to create a custom port for the Valorant game in Windows Firewall. So this will be applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. On your Windows search, type Defender. From the suggestion, choose Windows Defender Firewall. The Windows Defender Firewall will be up. From the left in menu option, click on Advanced Settings. Now from the left in menu option, click on inbound rules. And on the right hand side, you will see the new rule option. Click on new rule. And new inbound rule wizard will be up. Here you have to choose the option of port. Click on port. Then click on next. Now here we have to create two different rules. One will be for TCP and another one will be for UDP. So choose TCP and in a specified local port, you will be getting the port in the description. So copy the TCP port. Come back to here, paste here. Then click on next. Choose this option to allow the connection. Then click on next. Make sure that all these three options are checked. And then hit on next again. Now you can just name this like anything. So like Valorant. rule udp this is just for to, for you to remember it so that you can easily search and find it then click on finish all right again go back click on new rule from the right hand side then choose port click next this time we have to create for udp so choose udp and in the specified local ports Again, go back and you will find the UDP port. Choose it, copy and then paste here and then click on next. Choose allow the connection, hit next. Let this all option checked, then hit next. And you can name this as Valorant inbound UDP. Okay, that was TCP and this will be UDP. Hit finish. All right, so the port has been now created. Okay, I just named by mistake both of them the UDP so I can uh, change it or I can just leave it. That doesn't matter. Only what matter is that the rule should be created with the port. Okay, now once it's been done, you can close it. Now in the next step, we have to update the network adapter. So if the network adapter is outdated or corrupted, you may have some kind of problem. So it's very simple on your Windows icon, right click and choose device manager device manager will be up here you have to look for the network adapters double click on it and now you have to update the driver for that device through which you are connected so let's say that if you're connected with the ethernet then you have to go with the ethernet if you're connected with the wi-fi then you have to update the wi-fi and if you use both of them then you have to update both of them so you can see that the first one is the Wi-Fi option. So make a right click on it, choose update driver. Then you have to go for search automatically for drivers. 
and if there are updates available it will automatically update it make sure you are connected with internet and if not then you will get this message then you can click on close and now you have to look for the ethernet adapter so this is the realtek family controller so this is my ethernet i will also update this this is also updated good now once it's been done let's move with the next step where you have to update and change your dns server address so click on your windows search type here ncpa.cpl that is a short form to open your uh, network connections from the option choose ncpa.cpl now here you will see all kind of network connections now here you have to look for the one through which you are connected so if you are connected with ethernet then you have to go with ethernet and if you're connected with Wi-Fi, then you have to go with Wi-Fi. Right now I'm connected with Ethernet. So I will make a right click on it. Choose properties. Then double click on Internet Protocol version 4. And by default, this option will be checked to obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to choose the option use the following DNS server address. Now here in the preferred DNS server, you have to type eight 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 and eight and in the alternate you have to type eight eight four and four so this is the google dns server address you can also use a uh, cloudflare i will just leave that in the description you can also go with that option now once you are done click on ok then click on ok again now after that you need to make a right click on your network adapter it if you are connected with ethernet then do with ethernet or else go with Wi-Fi. Just make a right click on it and then choose disable. Wait for a few seconds. Again, make a right click on it and choose enable. Once done, close it. Now again, click on the search box, type CMD and choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Now here you have to run few command that again you will find in the description. Copy the command, paste here, and run one by one. So the first one will be ipconfig space forward slash flush dns. Hit enter. Once done, run the another command that will be ipconfig space forward slash register dns. Hit enter and wait until the command is completed. Now the next one will be ipconfig space forward slash release. The next one will be ipconfig space forward slash renew. And once this is completed, we have to run the last command that will be NETSH Winsock Reset. Hit enter. And it says you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. So we will apply all the solution first and then finally we will make a restart. Now close everything. And now we are only remaining with the one solution. And that is very effective. Probably it worked for many people. What you have to do, you need to open your task manager. Right click on your windows icon, choose task manager. Now here it click on the process tab. Now here you will see an option of network. All right, that is for the bandwidth. And here you have to look for the application that is consuming too much of network or a little bit of network. So let's say that right now I'm getting a uh, usage from Google Chrome or any other. Then you have to look for that application and you need to close it. This you need to do while playing Valorant or playing any other game. Make sure that whenever you play Valorant game, open your task manager. Uh, look for the application that is consuming the network uh, space. And let's say the Google Chrome. So you have to right click on Google Chrome and then task. Avoid using other application that occupies bandwidth because once you are using game and other using other application, your bandwidth gets shared 
because of which there is a lot of packet loss and high ping. So avoid using other application. And as you can check from here, whichever application is using uh, the network resources, so you have to close it, All right? And after that, finally make a restart and check back. I'm very sure that you will be finding some changes. Again, I would recommend that please check your internet connection as well. If you have a good internet connection, then these settings will be surely improving your performance. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully this video will help you to improve the performance on your Valorant game and reduce the packet loss. And please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. And still, if you have problem or any question, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.